So this video might be releasing a little bit late since we are coming up on part two of the anniversary soon, but hopefully we can still help a few people out there, especially, you know, some of the newer players, okay? So today we're gonna be talking about these sixth anniversary coins that we've been getting over the past couple of weeks and what is, in my personal opinion, the best way to spend them to get the most value out of them. Okay, so with that said, let's jump right into it. And as you guys can see, we are on the Dokkan Wiki right now. And here is a full list of all the available items and units that you can purchase with your anniversary coins in the Baba Shop right now. And there is just a lot of stuff here, guys. You know, a bunch of Hercule statues, support items, orbs, uh, Kai's, a bunch of units, and so on and so forth. It can definitely get... A little bit overwhelming especially for a newer player who just started the game you know a couple of days ago or a couple of weeks ago and maybe you don't even know exactly what everything is used for so uh, let me just quickly break this down for you guys now I feel like the number one thing that the average player should focus on with their anniversary coins would be these guys at the very top these grand Kai's because you can never really have too many Kai's. Like no matter how long you've been playing this game for, you're always gonna need Kai's at some point to raise the super attacks of the you know new units that come out or older units that you just pulled because there's always gonna be units or characters that don't have free to play versions. So in that case, you need to have Kai's to raise their super attack and that's where these guys come in. So yeah, Kai's are definitely where I would start and you can actually get five Kai's of each type so 25 Kai's in total and once you've cleared out the entire shop of all the Grand Kai's that's when I would start looking at some of the other stuff in here like the units, the orbs, awakening medals and so on and so forth. So speaking of the units let's uh, take a quick look at them and as you can see there are quite a few units in here and I know that some people are going to be really tempted to pick them up because they're usable and some of them have really cool arts, right? But honestly, from a usefulness perspective, none of these units are actually that worth it, in my opinion. Obviously, some are better than the others. Like a few of them are just straight up not usable at all, whereas some others might be kind of useful depending on you know how good your teams are how good your box is how long you've been playing this game for right so if you guys really want to pick up some units uh the ones that i would focus on are this super saiyan blue goku from the fifth anniversary last year uh this goku and this vegeta are from the worldwide celebration last year and they're both not bad they're both decent and uh, same thing goes for the AGL perfect cell he's not too bad either um, and that's pretty much it I mean I guess the Super Saiyan 4 Goku is not too bad either but like I said man they're just not super impressive units and the ones that I did talk about are just the ones that I feel like could be good placeholders for certain teams until you get a better replacement. Like for example, this AGL Super Saiyan Blue Goku, you know, he can put out some okay damage and his defense is not abysmal, but definitely not good. And if you have like the other summonable AGL Super Saiyan Blue Goku with an Extreme Z Awakening or the Tech Super Saiyan Blue Goku, those guys are definitely a hundred times better than this guy. And of course for Super Saiyan 4 Goku, uh, STR Super Saiyan 4 is a million times better, the LR Super Saiyan 4, um, so if you have another Super Saiyan 4 in the game, you're never going to be running him, and uh, same goes for pretty much all these units, right? Except for this Vegeta, actually. This tech Super Saiyan Angel Vegeta does not really have a replacement, as far as I can think of right now. He might be the only Super Saiyan Angel Vegeta in the game. Yo, I gotta look this up. I'm curious now. Okay, so from what I can tell, there's only two Super Saiyan 2 Angel Vegeta's in the game. One of them is the Tech one, and the other one is this free-to-play Vegeta from the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta token event. So, 
Um, I guess out of all the available units here, this Vegeta is probably the most worth it because number one, there's not really a better replacement out there. And number two, he is one of the best units, you know, out of this entire pool. So if you gotta get just one, get this Vegeta. But uh, everybody else is just for collection purposes. And of course, that depends on the person, right? It's a personal decision. Like some people are collectors. They got that collector mentality. So they want to have as many different units as possible, as complete of a collection as possible. And I can respect that. But if you don't care at all, and you only want to have good units or the best units, then you really don't need to pick up any of the units in the shop. Because as I said, man, they're just not that good. Like the best one here is probably this Goku. And I'll show you guys his details here. Um, his leader skill is Realm of Gods, category key plus five, HP attack and defense plus 55%. When team includes all five super types, and then super attack, supreme damage, raises defense for five turns, passive attack and defense plus 55%, plus an additional attack plus 55% with five or more key spheres obtained, plus an additional attack plus 55% when performing a super attack. And his boosts are calculated separately, so he gets attack plus 140.25% when uh, you're performing a super attack, and then attack plus 225.5% with five or more key spheres obtained. So yeah, for a free to play unit like this, he's gonna do some, you know, okay damage, but his defense will not be that impressive. And uh, his stats are pretty awful. So, you know, once again, I've said this many times, these are not good units, but if you want to have them for collection purposes, or if you're really new, and you just need a filler for a Super Saiyan 4 team, or a Super Saiyan 3 team, or a Realm of Gods team, then maybe consider picking up this Goku, or this Goku, or this Vegeta, and uh, the cell is not too bad either, but outside of those guys, um, there's really no reason to pick up anybody else except to complete your collection. Alright, so those are the units. And uh, outside of the units and the Kai's, I do think that people should be picking up these medals, especially the hourglasses, because they're always going to be useful, right? Like these are for reversing your units to feed in dupes. And even at this point, I'm constantly running out. And uh, the other Kai and Supreme Kai medals are for awakening your units. And you'll always need them, no matter how long you've been playing this game for. So uh, yeah, I would say make them a priority for sure. And outside of that, you know, these uh, turtle shells are good, but if you do the daily Roshi event, you should be getting a good amount every day. And uh, same thing for the Hercule statues, do your, you know, daily Hercules World Tournament event, uh, do your Extreme Z battles. And the gravity chambers and the uh, support items are all pretty easy to farm. And for 7 coins for the chamber and 3 coins for each support item, it feels like a huge ripoff to me, so I would stay away from these. And uh, finally, we have the orbs. And obviously, orbs are always useful too, right? Um, so if you guys are really hurting for orbs, it's not a terrible idea. So I would say the order of priority should go uh, Kai's first, and then the medals, and then orbs third. Unless you're a collector and you really want to have a lot of units, or you know as many units as possible then, you know, you could buy some of the units, and obviously it's not a bad idea either. But once again, man, they're just not that good. But I would probably do the Super Saiyan Blue Goku, uh, this Int Goku, the Tech Vegeta, and then probably Cell. And Hercule too. I mean, he's actually very similar to the Cell, except for the fact that he doesn't fit on as many categories and his links are pretty bad, right? So uh, Cell over Hercule for sure. And that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, like I said, we're releasing this pretty late. It's already almost part two, so I'm sure a lot of people already spent most of their coins, but I'm hoping that some of you guys watching right now were kind of confused, and uh, maybe this video brought you a little bit of clarity. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. and. If it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, 
and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. To join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.